this is one game that uh, our family love to play whenever we get together. And I expect this Christmas time it will come out Monopoly. Anybody else like Monopoly? I expect most of us have played it, haven't we, at one time or another. Now, before we play, we always explain the rules so that everyone will know how to play the game. So I wonder what kinds of rules that you always have questions about or always have to remind people about. Well, the banker's pretty important, isn't it, the banker? And you have to, there's always a, an argument about uh, how many times we have to go around the board until we can start sharing out the properties and all the rest of it. Now, have you ever played a game with somebody who doesn't follow the rules? Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, if you touch your nose if the answer is yes and touch your ear if the answer is no. So, anybody played a game with people who don't follow the rules? <laughs> it's mostly noses, I think. And um, do you always follow the rules? So, again, touch your hands. Touch your nose if the answer is yes, and touch your ear if the answer is no. Well, we've got a bit of a mixture there. We've got a bit of a mixture. We're being very honest this morning, aren't we? But there are rules that we must follow in the game of life as well. And I've got the rule book right here. The rule book for our game of life, all the rules are in here to enjoy the way of life that God really intended. It's important to follow those rules. Now during the time of Jesus, religious leaders liked to sit around and discuss the rules. They did a lot of that. Their rules were very, very important to them. And they would sometimes ask Jesus questions about the law, about the rules, to trick him into saying something that would cause people to turn against him. Well, one day they were questioning Jesus and he answered them with one good, quest one good answer after another. He seemed to always have the right answer for them. And then one Jewish teacher asked him, of all the rules, all the commandments, which is the most important? I wonder which the most important rule is to you. Jesus answered him, the most important one is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. Now, there are an awful lot of rules in this book and it might be difficult sometimes to remember all of them. But if we can just remember to obey the two commandments that Jesus said were the most important, all the rest of it will follow. Because we can't love God and do wicked things, and we can't love each other and do wicked things, not if we really love with our body, our minds, and our souls then we would enjoy life the way that God intended it. So let's pray. Dear God, please help us to love you with all our hearts and to love others as we love ourselves. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs>